Did you aim at the All right, wrong so way? So I made it to Oxbow Marina today. Oh, I'm um, Only got like maybe less than two hours to less than two hours to fish, and I am gonna try it to do a catch and cook video for you guys today. And so. Because you promised it for you, so. So I it. promised it to one of you viewers or subscribers or viewers. And so I'm going to keep to my word and I'm going to try to make this a catch and cook video. Now, it should be easy to catch these bluegill because they're literally freaking everywhere here. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to tie on this little, uh, what you going to call it, rooster tail. And that should work for today. It's probably the only bin we'll be throwing today. Just because it's like one of the, probably my main baits I would throw for bluegill. All right, so I'm gonna get finished, uh, getting all rigged up with my ca with my camera gear and everything, and uh, we'll just start going along the sides. So let me put on the GoPro right now. I'm seeing some blue go right now. All right, um, but nothing too big yet. So actually, I'm gonna work. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Oh, there, John, big blue go over here. Yeah. All right, so we found our first spot, which is right down here. Seeing a couple big bluegill. Definitely some eating size bluegill. For that. Oh, yes. What is that? Bluegill. Oh, it's a little one. Bummer. Yeah, for, first catch of the day. I mean, he is, f these fish are fat. I mean, I'm telling you, just look how freaking chunky these things are like look at that oh, even for oh, small ones oh oh that's a pretty big one. Oh. oh you got one oh dang straight so a straight retreat oh that's huge right that's a big one that's not a red ear that's a freaking gigantic bluegill that's not a gigantic one. Oh, it's a jumbo bluegill dang all right so forget this fish freaking <laughs> the cricket is one that's probably gonna get our bigger fish for today He's using like a little topwater cricket that swims, Stop. that could swim subsurface too. And he's caught a jumbo blue. I've gone bit on it and I've caught a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got something up. It might be a bass, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's something good. I mean, if it's a bluegill, then freaking, yeah, it's a. Oh, oh. What the heck? Holy crap. Oh no, get out of those weeds right there. Come on. Crap. Um, I got something big on, and I believe it looked like a bluegill. Um, if it is, then I freaking win. It's gonna be the biggest bluegill. I'm pretty sure it's a bass. I don't think so. I swore it looked like a bluegill. This is a freaking gigantic. Yeah, no way. Stuck in these weeds right here, but I still feel them. <laughs> oh yeah, he's still on there. Oh, oh shoot, <laughs> whatever this is, oh, big old red ear, oh, dang, dang, look at that, now that's, oh, that's not even a red ear, what the heck, I don't know what this is, but something big, it's a bluegill, that is a bluegill, bluegill, sunfish, whatever you want to call it, it's a big fish, tiger actually, you know what, I'm not going to eat this dude, he has like a parasite on him, See, that's when you know they're big. If you could freaking lip them. Dude, look at that. Freaking awesome. Get this, let this dude go. Oh, no. He has something on his lip. I mean, I'm getting a bunch of nibbles and stuff, but... Yeah, we can move. We should be able to have enough. Oh, yeah. Gotta get over here. There's a bunch of bluegill right next to the shore. And I don't want to spook them, so I'm going to... Cast... As far or get away from them as far as I can and just cast up on top of them. Oh, and there's a gigantic bass right next to them, too. Oh, already got a follower. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a little bluegill. Oh, and I got him. Oh, no, he's pretty good. He's pretty good size. He might be a keeper. Hey, John, I got one. He might be a keeper. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's just like the size of yours. Dude, you freaking choked that thing. 
Might have to move again. I don't think there's fish over here. Oh, oh you got a crappie. Oh, did? Yeah. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> Should we keep it? Yes. Just in case. Yes. Dude, dude, I seen that. Here, let me take it <laughs> off of here. I told you this is a crappie bait. What did I tell you? You're going to have to eat this guy. Oh, oh, yes! Is that a crappie? Get off. Get off, stupid what is that? It doesn't. Bluegill. I think, yeah, it might be a bluegill. There's one. Go in the bucket. Got him. Oh, oh I got one. <laughs> There's one. Yeah, no. Oh, you got one. What is that? Bluegill? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, come on. No. He's right there. Oh, I got him. I got him. Is that a blue? Yeah. Come on, crappie for a second. Come on. I got him. He's right there. Hurry up. Oh, no. It's freaking smaller than mine. All right, so I just caught a smallmouth bass on a hula popper. Didn't even know there's even smallmouth in here. And I've always wanted to catch a smallmouth. Like, I actually caught the first so one. If you, if he, you watch, if you watch right, yeah, yeah. videos, if you watch. Some, no, not way more videos in back. Uh, it, I don't even remember which video. Um, it was like the second, But it was, it was some video. Um, some video I made at Oxbow. We were like saying it was a medium mouth or something because it was just so, I mean, it was green like a large mouth that had red eyes and stuff. I mean, it just, probably just because it was living in all the vegetation, which is why it was so green. But um, I know I'm talking million miles per hour right now, but I'm literally freaking just so pumped up right now. I can't believe I actually caught a small mouth. I mean, I've always wanted to freaking catch that fish. I mean, and that's his first time. First time ever. I mean, it, beautiful fish. I mean, the eyes. That, that's pretty cool. They're red eyes. That's probably like my favorite part about them. And that the fact that they freaking fight even harder than a freaking largemouth, which is freaking cool. So, just got finished catching all the fishies for the catch and cook. Uh, for the catch and cook video. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video. I made it back to my house and I'm gonna be flaying up these fish. Or these blue gummy. So let me get right into that. But before you start flaying, make sure your knife is sharp or else the fillets aren't gonna turn out that good. So let me begin. So what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna make wanna make a incision behind the gill. And so then you wanna take it and make it a little incision right by the dorsal. And then you're just gonna wanna run it along its spine and you just wanna you wanna feel those ribs and then when you don't feel them you just stick your knife out the rest of the way and then just like that just along here so you don't get any bones in your fillet. You're going to de uh, skin it. And all you're going to do, make a little small cut right there. I feel like it's in the skin. You're going to try to hold it. Just follow it along the skin. Just like so. Try and try not to waste as much meat as possible when doing this. And boom, there is a perfect fillet. Okay. All right, and then you just flip it over and do the other side. Walk us through it again, because I kind of miss it. Oh, yeah. And then same thing on the other side. Just repeat the process. All right, then you just want to, just like on the other side, just take your knife and run it along those ribs and you just go over the ribs and then just take it like so off the skin with your 
finger. And like that. Another perfect fillet. And so, that's pretty much all I do. Just with the so I'm just gonna do that to all these blue girl. And, and crappie. And that crappie that we caught earlier I today. Caught. Earlier today. So let me just finish filleting all the rest of these blue girl and then I'll get back to you guys in the kitchen. All right guys, got done filleting the fish yesterday and now I'm gonna be doing the cooking part of this catch and cook video. So, let me get right into it. So what I got out, I laid out all the ingredients you need. So, I mean, I didn't really measure this. I'm just basically, I'm just basically winging it, sort of. I mean, I'm not a professional cook or anything, but uh, throwing stuff together. I don't really know what I'm doing, but hopefully it tastes good. So, um, so yeah, let me get right into it. So I got three eggs, a bowl to mix the eggs with one half stick of butter, and then. This is for the flour mixed with some garlic powder to give it some flavor. And so let me get right into cooking. So you're gonna wanna take your one half stick of butter and then just put it on the pan. And once it's fully melted, then you add your fish. But before that, you got to add, uh, what you call You gotta first make your egg wash. And then you want to melt this one half stick of butter and mix these two together. So it's pretty much mixed. And then now, now I'm just going to want to add some flour to this. I mean, it really just depends on how much fish you have, which it would depend on how much stuff you need to add. Just to be more covers. You just need to have as much as you can to cover as much fish as you have. Now I'm gonna add some garlic powder to it so it gives it the flavor. I'm just gonna add a little bit in the egg wash mix. So it got lots of flavor. You can pretty much just take a fork or anything and just mix this together. Now you're gonna wanna take your fish fillets and dunk them in the egg wash, just like so. And then you just put them in this batter. You just get like that. You just cover them up fully. You just do that with the rest of them. Doesn't really have to be perfect. That. Put them in there. Mix it together. Like so. And you just keep doing that to all your fillets. So put my fillets in. The pan, and you basically just wait till they turn crispy brown on one side, then you flip them over to the other. Smells good. So that wraps it up for the catch and cook video. It didn't turn out that good. It was pretty flavorless. So, um, as you guys seen, I added some garlic salt and some lemon, and that made it way better than what it originally it was. So, if you're gonna follow this or follow the recipe that I used or I made, um, make sure you add the lemon and the garlic salt to it. So. Um, 
Or you just make it whatever way how you guys make it or want to make it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pretty much my first catch and cook. I did make one before, but forgot the cooking part. But, um, yeah. So if you guys want me to do more videos like this, comment down below. Or if you want me to do something else fishing related, comment that down below as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.